maybe you can ask a question what is your name it is really really fast we are going to be installing the newly released llama 3.2 model onto our computer and essentially give it a try um who created you we can see that the model is just straight up just spitting the tokens Only two months ago, we had access to the Llama 3.1, 405 billion parameters and the 8 billion parameters models from Meta. And a couple of hours ago, Meta literally dropped Llama 3.2. And essentially, you're saying that this is to revolutionize AI on edge devices and, you know, running on small computing devices like on your cell phone and stuff like that. So they, pre they present this essentially as a lightweight and multimodal model, right? So this is a lightweight model which you can install on your, I hope maybe someday we're going to be able to install it on our watches. So, hey, let's keep waiting. And essentially, they say today, they say here, today we are releasing Llama 3.2, which includes small and medium size vision LLMs and this is going to be an 11 billion parameters and a 90 billion parameters model and lightweight text only models which is a 1 billion and a 3 billion parameters model that fits onto each and mobile devices guys this is insane this is amazing i am actually thinking of maybe making a tutorial or making a video and actually trying to install this model on my smartphone what do you guys think guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think and probably you know it might be an interesting video to make so this is insane by the way guys before i continue before we continue looking at this uh blog post by meta today we are going to be installing the newly released llama 3.2 model onto our computer and essentially give it a try but before that you know let's just glance a little bit um on the blog post posted by meta so just to have a little bit of you know context and a little bit of understanding what this model is all about now they continue to say here that the llama 3.1 1 billion and the 3 billion model support context length of 128k tokens guys this is insane and a state of the art in their class for on device use case like summarization instruction following and rewriting tasks running locally at the edge right this is insane i am thinking of a world where we're gonna be able to run llms on our mobile watches and this is gonna be a really really interesting time to be alive so and these models are enabled on from day one for qualcomm and mediatek hardware and optimized for the arm processors guys for those of you who don't know i'm currently running a macbook m1 uh, apple silicon computer so we're going to be doing that on this computer but i think it pretty much should work on any computer irrespective of the computer you're using at the moment and i'm not quite sure about the benchmarks again i i don't know how i feel about companies running their own benchmarks but you know that's definitely something i would prefer to have you know more open benchmarks by you know um other organization not a company actually running their own bench benchmarks so guys like i said we're not gonna you know waste too much time on this article i'm gonna drop a link of this article down in the description below so you can you know have a look at the article and you know read through and see what essentially this model is capable of doing they are essentially building these models and releasing these models in public and this is very interesting because I personally wouldn't have thought that Mark would actually, you know, open source. I mean, from day one, they have been open sourcing their models. And this is really an interesting thing to look into. I don't know. Open source models are amazing. Hey, big ups to Mark for doing this. I don't, I don't, I prefer not to look too much at the benchmarks, which are from the companies themselves, because generally I believe that when companies actually release their benchmarks, they're actually a little bit by us, right? So we, I, I would prefer to you to go onto this site. Like I said, I'm going to drop the link down below in the description of this video so you can have a look at the models and at this um, 
this blog post and i almost forgot to mention guys that this actually here they actually provide the links to the model so you can actually go and download these models from hugging face and of course you have to agree to the license and everything in between you just go to hugging face and you'll be able to access all of these models this is really 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 interesting at its core these models are just built out of the box to be you know um work to work 100 percent locally and that is just pretty much what we are going to be doing in this video so let's just head straight forward to our terminal before we get straight forward to our terminal i just want to tell you guys that i really appreciate you sticking around watching this video and i really appreciate you you know tuning in to our youtube channel if you love our content please please i'm begging you drop a like because this helps with the algorithm and subscribe to our youtube channel because we make videos like this one so we're gonna hate straight forward to to be able to download the model and be able to you know use the model locally we're gonna download a tool called olama right so olama is a tool for, this is Jarvis, by the way and for those of you who don't know Jarvis, Jarvis is the Jarvis, yes, the Jarvis from Iron Man. We're currently working on this and I'm going to put the link to Jarvis here so you can check it out. You know, who knows, you might contribute to it as well. But essentially, we're building, uh, we're fine tuning um, Jarvis from the Iron Man movie, which responds like Jarvis, which speaks and talks like Jarvis. We have open data set and everything in between. Now, this is not the purpose of this video, so I'm going to head straight forward back to the video. So you just need to come here to olama.com and you download the you download the software and you should note that this is not actually an actual UI software, right? This is just um this is pretty much a terminal software which you would be able to, you know, run your models locally. So after downloading that, you head straight forward to um the olama link. I'm going to drop this link, but if you don't want to check out this link, you just search here llama 3.3.2 and you hit the search button the first one that pops up you click on it and you just click here download the model and you can essentially just choose which one you want to run this is actually interesting because if you look at here the model is just two gigabytes this is amazing i'm not sure if the model has been quantized to be two gigabytes or if the full model itself is two gigabytes but this is really interesting to see now you can download the 1 billion parameters model by just clicking on the tag here and clicking if you want to get the latest you click there you're going to get the latest model but we're going to head straight forward to the latest which is the latest which of course we're going to focus more on the 3 billion parameters model so we're going to click here by the way guys we have not installed this before so we're going to be doing this through this process we're going to be going through this process together so we're going to head straight forward to a terminal and paste the command so we're going to wait for it to download and after it downloads we're going to resume the video so once that finishes downloading you're going to be able to see that it has started running the model automatically locally so here we can see if the model act has actually downloaded like we started to download and everything goes okay you shouldn't be able to see any errors now after the model has downloaded it's gonna run the model automatically now that I have the model already locally I just need to you know run llama run llama 3.1 slash uh, 2.3 billion parameters so I just run this command and it's automatically gonna start the model so let's try to you know test it a little bit and ask you a couple of questions so I'll say hi there how are you uh, doing today so we can see that it's really really fast like this is one thing that meta actually mentioned that it was actually like we can see here on their post they mentioned something about the arm processors and this was actually the thing like i, I actually thought you know sometimes they mentioned like this just you know it's, it's like a marketing scheme or something like that but like we can see here it's optimized for qualcomm which i believe is what you know most of our cell phones actually use like android phones and arm processors which in our case we have our mac here we're currently running on a mac m1 apple silicon computer so this is really amazing and you know we can head straight forward to asking a couple of questions again um what is your name 
maybe you can ask you a question what is your name it is really really fast like i'm actually marvel look at how much time it takes to speak all those sentences this is really really amazing and i'm saying this because we actually did try llama 3.18 billion parameters the other time when like two months ago when it launched and if you want to check out that video we're going to put the link to that video up in the top of this video so you can have a look at the video and you maybe you can have a little bit comparison between this one and the other one but for in-depth context what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do just bear with me here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start another terminal instance i'm gonna pull this here and i'm gonna pull that here and we're gonna try to launch the 3.18 billion parameters model and essentially try to weigh both of them like which one is actually faster now I know maybe this might not be the best way to do it let me maybe let me even check if I still have that mono model locally on my list oh thank god I still have it locally I had it installed three weeks ago so I would just come here and say llama oh not llama oh llama oh llama run and I'm gonna run the llama 3.18 beyond parameters model so we're running the llama 8 beyond parameters model locally again remember guys all this is done locally and this is really amazing because i am running both of them side by side and it's really interesting what i'm doing right here this is running locally no internet connection needed and all of that stuff so i just come here i'm gonna ask them the same question maybe i would say here Maybe I'll just copy this. Maybe I'll just copy this question here for the sake of, you know, simplicity and, you know, just for us to, you know, run up with the video. We can see here that it's actually struggling to, you know, actually speak the words. I mean, it's essentially actually doing the job, but it's actually pretty slow. So it's amazing that we can run this offline, but the performance too is a thing, right? Now, maybe because this is an 8 billion parameters model and the other one which we have here is a 3 billion parameters model, but this is a no brainer. If I have to choose, I would definitely choose this one, especially as Meta mentioned that this model is actually compared to this larger model. So the small model is actually compared to these larger models. So if I come here, see, for example, I say, um, who created you, we can see that the model is just straight up, just spitting the tokens right spitting the words this is really amazing this is really an interesting time to be alive now i'm gonna copy the same question and i'm gonna paste it here and let's see what it says so it says here i was developed by meta ai company that specialty blah 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 look at this it's actually responding but compared to what this did right here it is actually not even that fast here look at this Look at this. It, it is still speaking the tokens. It's, it's still speaking the words. So that's pretty much about it. I mean, this is an amazing technology. Now I'm looking at a feature where we can have these models, like I said earlier, running on our watches. I am really excited for this technology. Let me know, guys, if you think we should make a video on how to, you know, essentially run these models locally on your phone and, you know, um, take advantage of this uh, models running locally especially meta mentioned this model can be run locally on your Qualcomm device which which um, I believe maybe the strap snapdragon chip and stuff like that so that's definitely something I would be interested in looking at now you might ask me you'd say okay Foti how do you exactly you know share documents with this so you're using the terminal everything is good it's fine it's all sweet and nice but if i want to share a document with the model how do i do this especially that we have the possibility to do this with chat gpt but if i'm for going chat gpt and using this models this open source models locally how do i essentially leverage this at my advantage so if you have a document say for example a pdf document i would say all you need to do guys is install open ui which is an olama library i mentioned that in one of our previous videos i'm going to put the link of that video here so you can have a look at the video but essentially once you have access to this once you get open uh, olama web ui you should be able to run this locally as you can see here the ui is exactly exactly like chat gpt just the same i actually switched the ui to white so i don't confuse it with chat gpt because in that mode at some point was pretty much the same thing 
So all I need to do is I just need to come here and then I select the model. So which model do I want to use? I come here, select the model. I pick this model and that's pretty much about it. I can say, tell me a fun fact, all right? Tell me a fun fact about the Roman Empire. Look at how fast this is going. Look at how fast this is. This is really amazing. How was your day? Look at how fast this is going, guys. Look at how smooth and fast this is going. This is really, really interesting. Now, guys, this that is pretty much about this video. Again, remember that these models, once you install them on Olama, you should be able to have access to them automatically here on the Open UI or on the Olama web UI, which you've installed. I have this installed locally with Docker. You can just head straight forward to your documentation. So if I go on Olama web UI, you just Google Olama web UI, click on it, and you should be able to have this. So just head straight forward to the GitHub and every detail is here on how to install it locally onto your computer. If this is what you need, if you don't want to use the boring terminal or whatsoever thing. So just use this one and it is really an amazing project. I love this project. It is really amazing. Kudos to the people actually maintaining and working on this project. So guys, that's pretty much it about this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate you, you know, coming into our YouTube channel. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss similar videos like this one. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for joining and hope to see you in the next video.